we are back with the Cushman today because we are taking this front piece off so I can get to uh, straightening up the metal and uh, welding on pieces that need to be welded back on and get the metal straightened back out uh, double checking wiring and fixing the shifter because it's uh, kind of stuck right now and doesn't move in all the directions that it should so uh, let's get the camera set up and let's get to it I just need to get the wiring disconnected from the gauges uh, so the light right here and the connector down here and I'll be good to pull this thing out so uh, let's get to it all right I almost got everything disconnected the only thing left is for the uh, the uh, high beam for the headlights that is down on the bottom on a grommet so I'm gonna see if I can how I'm gonna get that out after I after I pick this up so Oh yeah, there's a couple of flat heads down at the bottom. All right, take two, let's try this again. All right, third time's the charm. lubricate this up and hopefully I can get this out without without breaking it well it is all the way off and don't really have too much to straighten up on the front side but the back side along the bottom is where the uh, biggest deformations are so definitely gonna have fun with that also I was able to successfully get these end pieces off and these were actually cut off these were not rusted off these were cut off because somebody couldn't get those bottom screws out with some a uh, little bit of heat and uh, a cut off wheel to make extra slits in the bolts and some patience i was able to get them off and i got them beat back straight pretty much so now the fun part of beating on this thing for a while so i'll see y'all when uh i've made progress or i'm done well it's back on and it's not perfect but it's definitely better not really much to see on this side or on the front there's a little bit of uh, wrinkling i think on this side i was able to get it straightened back out pretty much but the big difference is on this side it looks so much better i took up i uh loosened the floor so i could uh, get a better better look at the uh, shifting mechanism and i was able to get it working properly Let me show you there's one linkage moving and pull it up find the right spot 
pull it up, and the other one move it. So we got the shifter working properly and the uh, metal pretty much uh, banged back out. Now still need to weld it on. Not sure if I want to do that today or tomorrow. Um, but I do want to get that. I do want to go ahead and get that done so I don't have to do it. So I don't have to think about it anymore. But uh, we're definitely making progress. Uh, should have the carburetor today. Once I get that in, I'll show, I'll show that to you. So uh, I'll see y'all on the next step. Well, I have every I have the uh, front piece sitting back on there. I uh, was able to get it welded on. I actually found some uh, uh, brick red uh, paint to uh, kind of mask a little bit. Uh, hopefully, that's in the pretty much the right position because with it being cut off and then me welding it back on, but it's all good. It's all on here, and I went ahead and pulled off the parking brake assembly because I'm probably not going to have that going anytime soon. I'll just get a couple of rubber chocks to keep in the bed. So, uh, put it, put in, uh, put on the tires. But while I was, while I had that off and the floor still loose, you know, while I had that off, I went ahead and pulled the front brake line, the front brake hose off so I could measure it. I'm pretty sure I found a replacement for it, but uh, I wanted to make sure on the length and uh went ahead and pulled the uh the line clips line line retainers for the uh, brake hose going all the way for the brake line going all the way back because i will be replacing all of the brake lines with the exception of maybe the small one that's going to the front because it's actually looks like it's in decent shape but uh i don't have the line off yet because i'm gonna have to pull the bed back off to uh, to get that part disconnected all the way but yes, uh, making progress. Um, sorry, didn't have too much show uh, showing my work on the uh, uh, hammering and on the welding. I was having some issues with the uh, with the metal wanting to wanting to stick and all that. But it's all good. It's on there and and it's not coming apart. Um, oh yeah, uh, I have a carburetor. All right, had to go inside and get it but uh here's the carburetor i've uh, already put it through my ultrasonic cleaner and i think that's going to be my new favorite thing to uh clean some carb clean small carburetors and uh, small parts is that ultrasonic cleaner i freaking love it but uh the uh connection to go to the uh crankcase vent is broken off but uh, i'm going to thread in a uh, brass a brass uh a brass hose barb that I can uh, hook up to the hose and uh, then it'll be good. I do have to get another float bowl because after I got after I got done cleaning, I found a couple of pinholes in the, in the, in, the, in this bowl. So got to go through that and uh, I got a got a rebuild kit coming for it. And I also picked up this uh, this uh, linkage going from the uh, governor assembly to the carburetor. So everything's coming together and looking good. Now I'm going to cover it back up because I'm probably going to, I'm probably done messing with it for, for a few days. And also I'm going to have to mess with this because whoever was trying to take it apart was trying to take this off too. And they put some bigger balls in here that don't belong. So I need to take those bigger ones out and hopefully try to find an, enough of these smaller ones. But there it is. I'm making progress. Well, there it is. There's uh, not much to this video, but uh, uh, making progress along with it. Got the I got the metal where I'm happy with it. And uh, next week I should be able to order, or uh, Friday I should be able to order the uh, uh, the brake hardware I need. That's the uh, uh, neat. I'm missing the adjusters for the right side. I found some. Uh, I'm going to order the wheel cylinders, all three of them, and the uh, uh, master cylinder off of Rock Auto. And um, 
got the hoses that I'm going to order from another website because I don't know the part numbers. I'm sure if I could find the part numbers, I could uh, probably get those from Rock Auto too. But uh, I've found them. I just need to order them. So everything's coming along. I'm going to get some new, uh, the new brake line just from a local parts store. So I'll have everything I need to redo the brake system. Uh, I will be reusing the brake shoes because I know they're I know they're kind of rusty, but they they still got some life on them. So uh, uh, still I'm probably gonna pro probably gonna reuse those for now. And the front I haven't had the front wheel off yet, but I'm pretty sure the front's gonna be the gonna be the same way. And uh, yeah, making progress. So uh, if you liked the video, like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.